Hi, and welcome to another episode of MLL Vacation Home Specialist. I am your host, Dennis Richkovsky. Some of you recognize me as the co-owner of Flip Flops Donuts, and some of you know me as your broker of real estate, specializing in waterfront and water view properties along the Crystal Coast, especially in my town of residence, Emerald Isle, North Carolina. As I record this video, we are in the middle phase of a three-phase reboot of the economy, a reboot necessitated by the COVID-19 pandemic that has swept our country. This reboot has reopened Emerald Isle to vacationers, and they are coming over the bridge to enjoy the weather and the water Emerald Isle is so rightly famous for. Once over the bridge, vacationers and residents alike will notice a large tract of land oceanside that is undergoing reconstruction behind the Western Ocean Regional Access, located adjacent to the Islander Hotel. The town has been struggling for many years to improve the appearance and the function of this once vibrant area with the goal of creating an attractive district that enhances the town's status as a premier residential and tourism community, as well as to reinforce the town's family beach image and small town atmosphere. A long time ago, a go-kart and a bumper boat facility dominated the area. Unfortunately, that property fell into disrepair and eventually was abandoned creating an eyesore for vacationers and residents alike. A couple of years ago, the town purchased the property and hired a contractor who demolished the facility, removed all the debris, and restored the site to a vacant tract. This vacant land is located in an area of Emerald Isle known as Village West. The quaint name disguises an eclectic mixture of commercial businesses, mobile home parks, and auto-themed businesses. Two mobile home parks border the subject property, with the Holiday Travel Park to the west and Boardwalk to the east. The ocean or sound side of Village West also includes the Salty Pirate Water Park, Artesian Granite and Marble, the Islander Hotel, 24-7 Electric and a Dental Office. The Sound, or North Side of Village West, includes the Speedway Gas Station, Emerald Oasis Car Wash, Burt's Surf Shop, Transportation Impact, Carib Sea, and the Island Mini Storage. While the town's vision for Village West has not exactly taken off, several positive improvements have been made over the years. For starters, the town finally updated the Western Ocean Regional Access, the town's flagship public beach access facility. The Islander Hotel underwent badly needed renovations. Transportation Impact built its corporate offices and installed an upscale restaurant, Carib Sea, on the top floors of its office building. And the Lighthouse Inn and Suites, a new 25-room boutique hotel, opened last year. Each of the above projects has incrementally moved the town closer to its goal of making Village West a more appealing place and making the goal of the 1.0 acre of vacant land more appealing to future development. And seemingly the town has succeeded. That vacant 1.8 acre tract is now under development. The town selected A-Team, which is associated with the Islander Hotel, over transportation impact a rapidly growing Emerald Isle Corporation, also in Village West, to oversee the purchase and redevelopment of the now vacant go-kart track property on Islander Drive. The planned development includes some 15 three-story buildings with approximately 30 residential units and several ground floor retail units. 
The proposal also includes construction of a public walkway and additional parking places along Islander Drive and Louise Avenue. The roadway portion of the project has been under construction since January and is now complete. New curbing, parking spaces, golf cart spaces, sidewalks, landscaping, decorative lighting, and underground electric service are now in place. The burial of overhead utility lines should be more aesthetically pleasing and will provide a more reliable source of power during severe storms and hurricanes. Roadway improvements also were made and a shift in pa traffic pattern is expected with a section of roadway connecting Reed Drive and Louise Avenue to be designated one way. All other roads remain in a two-way two travel pattern. In the end, the Town of Emerald Isle, in partnership with A-Team, hoped to revitalize the area, which once was a town hub, but has fallen, in, fallen into some disrepair and misguided development over the years. This is a rather ambitious project, one with many challenges, not the least of which is the sudden downturn in the overall economy these past few months. More specific to Emerald Isle, the developers face challenges identifying businesses that can thrive in a seasonal business environment. As co-owner of real estate rental property and flip-flops donuts, I am well aware of the challenges of generating a year's worth of revenue in three to five months. Not many businesses are designed to function in this manner, and it is especially difficult to hire employees who can afford only seasonal income. Lastly, most people move to Emerald Isle to live at or near the beach, and not above or amongst a potentially noisy business park. All that being said, I wish the town and A team the very best in getting this project off the ground. If successful, this will help move Emerald Isle into the 21st century and generate excitement in real estate, the likes of which we have not seen in a number of years. Return next week to the same bat channel at the same bat time of 9 a.m. on Thursday for another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist.